My name is Bailey Lair and I am here with the Million Dollar Etsy shop doing some jewelers helping jewelers um, shop critiques for Etsy. So I'm hoping that I can help some other jewelers and any other people who are struggling on Etsy um, improve their shop through these critiques. Um, even if you don't sell jewelry, I'm going to go over a lot of things today that apply to all shops. So stay tuned. Let's go ahead and dive in. Um, so as you can see, this is a luxury price point jewelry company that looks like they're focusing on um, moissanite, which helps to lower the price point of traditional jewelry. This is a really great niche um, because people do want to have this luxury look here, right? But for $3,000, that's a really good price compared to what it would be if you used perhaps a three carat natural diamond, it would be a $30,000 retail ring. So um, I do think this is a great niche, especially for millennials who still want that traditional look, but can't quite afford natural diamonds. So I think this is a great niche to be in. Um, as you can see, the shop is not very old and they have had some sales. Seven sales at this price point is phenomenal. So this person is on the right track and they're doing a very good job. Um, I, I mentioned this in a lot of critiques, but I would put your face here, um, smiling, clear, a good photograph, and instead, your, your, the shop owner is not Artifine, that is your shop name, so I would put your name so people know that they're dealing with a human. Um, they'll be more likely to trust you with their $1,000. Um, so one thing that I did is I went ahead and looked at your sales and what had been selling well for you. So there's an obvious trend here, eternity rings, diamond earrings. Make this your focus. I would post some different styles um, and broaden this. So when you, when your customer searches eternity, band, moissanite eternity band, um, it would be great if you had 20 designs for them to choose from um, or, you know, whatever seems practical because um, this clearly seems to be working. So it, it is good to have other styles when they get into your shop, but I would focus on what's working and expand on that. So another thing, it looks like you have really good keywords on some of your products. Um, it looks like when you started out, you didn't, but I think on your shop now, you've added some. Again, I know this is tradition in the jewelry industry to put this information um, up here in your first title, but I think no one's typing in 2.24 carat weight. Um, they might be typing in 2 carat, so you could write um, 2 carat plus, or over, you could write over 2 carat ring. So when someone types in, types out 2 carat ring, um, you hit that keyword. Um, 6.5 millimeters, that I would maybe keep that because it's a round number. Usually if it's like 6.53, no one's typing that, but someone might be typing in 6.5 millimeter um, and it doesn't take up too much keyword space. I would, I think like some of these keywords are great, but they're a little clumped together. They don't, Etsy prefers long tail keywords, which means instead of you having all of these sing, singular words, I would have channel set ring. And then I would have six prong engagement ring, um, moissanite engagement ring, moissanite cigar ring, um, white gold cigar ring, um, all of those things clumped together. And I know it seems messy and a little bit clustered, but that's how the Etsy algorithm works. Um, it favors those types of things that people are actually typing in. Um, and I think a lot of those keywords I just mentioned can apply to all of your a lot of your stuff, but this one you might want to have. Let me see what you've got. So yeah, you've got all these singular terms. Instead of pierced, milgrain, filigree, da 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 band, I would have filigree wedding band, antique style wedding band, milgrain alternative diamond ring. Um, all of these keywords that people are actually looking for. Um, and again, to, to kind of brainstorm what people are actually typing in, I always recommend using the search function up here. So you would type in something like moissanite and see what people are punching in. So the most commonly searched 
moissanite. Did I spell that right? Oh, moistness. It's not moistness. I guess Google doesn't know that moissanite exists yet. They will soon. Um, <laughs> all right. So the most commonly searched thing is moissanite engagement ring. Um, so that should be in every single one of your titles. Um, or moissanite ring, if you don't think it's an engagement ring. Moissanite wedding band, moissanite earrings. Moissanite engagement ring rose gold. So this is a very long tail keyword that is being searched more than moissanite necklace. So I would photograph some rose gold ones. So when people are searching for this, I know you have the option here, but if people don't see rose gold in the picture, they're not gonna click it. So I would have someone Photoshop this into rose gold for you or ask your supplier or who, if you photograph this yourself, I would make a few in rose gold and photograph it, whatever's less expensive. Um, you can certainly use CZ for your photographs if you want to save money to get more designs out there. That's No one's going to be able to tell the difference. Um, obviously, use Moissanite for the actual product. We're not scamming people, but for the photograph, um, if you want to get a lot of stuff, or even in sterling silver and have it rose gold plated, um, so that you can invest very little in a lot of designs to get your shop looking really well-rounded. Um, Great, so let me go ahead and look at a few of the other products. Um, some of these abstract designs probably do well on um, Etsy, but I don't think that they're typing in Swirl A. They might be. Um, I would consider researching abstract wedding band, unique wedding band, alternative engagement ring, stuff like that, um, because there are, a, a, there are creative people searching on Etsy trying to find something different. Um, but you have to be able to be found. You are never going to be found unless I don't, I'm not sure about this keyword. I don't know what this is. Um, people might be looking for it using this keyword, but I'm not sure. Um, think about the average customer. What type of words would they use? Um, like abstract would be one of them for sure. Um, all right, so the earrings. I wanted to, because this is one of your top sellers, I wanted to go over this. I would definitely have more designs in your shop. Um, limited supply special. I like that you have this urgency to buy, but I wouldn't put it in the title. This is wasted keyword space. Because again, the title is about what people are typing into the search. Um, if you want to use Photoshop and do an overlay here, limited supply, maybe. I think Etsy might punish text in the picture, so I, I might shy away from that. But maybe in your first here, you could blow out sale, limited supply. You could put it in the description right here. That's probably the best spot to put this. And again, um, I would write out two carat earrings because that's what people are typing in. Let's see, two carat diamond ring. Let me use the number. Okay, two carat. So as you can see, this is how people are finding two carat designs. They're typing in the number two, writing out carat, and these are the things that they're looking for. So first, obviously, diamond engagement ring, because that's very popular. But the second most popular thing is the two carat moissanite engagement ring. So this is definitely a good niche to be in. Um, two carat ring, that should be on your rings that are close to two carats. And then you can write 2.2 to show them it's actually a little bit bigger at, at the end of the title or something. But um, two carat diamond studs, I would write two carat alternative diamond studs or so so that you still kind of hit this keyword you'll come up but people will be like whoa th three hundred dollars that's a great deal and they'll you're not lying because you'll have moissanite all over the place and you'll say this is not you could put a disclaimer these aren't real diamonds these are alternative diamonds um but you'll still f show up for diamond studs by using alternative diamond or alternative to diamond um whatever phrasing to use the word diamond but be clear that it's not actually diamond. Um, and again, you have a lot of space for keywords here that you're not using. Stud earrings is the only keyword, and that is oversaturated. Stud earrings is probably 100 million. Let's see. Yeah, you're competing against half a million people. That keyword is dead. Um, it's wasted space, so. All right, guys. Um, that is my moissanite niche. <laughs> um, 
critique. So I hope that that's useful for anyone in the jewelry industry, especially if you're trying to focus on that $300 to $3,000 price point. Um, there are a lot of very large shops doing a lot of revenue per year in that niche. So I think that there is room for others and there's room for anyone who has a brick and mortar shop to start moving some of their products in that niche on Etsy. Um, I think that shop alone with a little bit of keyword work um, and photographing alternative colors like rose gold and yellow gold so the customer can visualize what that looks like, um, I think that would go a long way. Um, I would definitely for each listing have three listings for each color still with the drop down menu so they could change their mind about the color but when someone types in yellow gold moissanite ring they need to see a picture of a yellow gold moissanite ring um, and that way you will be hitting that long tail keyword yellow gold moissanite ring or rose gold moissanite ring um, I think those I think this shop could be a huge shop with a little bit of work um, I think just the advice I gave here today, if they put in the effort, um, they could start doing some legitimate business on Etsy. So um, I hope that was helpful. Um, if anyone has any questions, please comment below. Um, if you have any in-depth questions, I have a Facebook group in the comments you can join, um, or you can message me on Jewelers Helping Jewelers, another Facebook group, which is very helpful. Um, yeah, all right, thanks. Bye guys, subscribe if you like it. Thanks.